So I'm hoping to attend the Taiwanese conference in November, if it's safe to do so. I'm, I'm still uh, thinking about it. We have to quarantine in a hotel uh, in Taiwan for a couple weeks before we can go out in public. But um, my work is remote, so it's not t totally out of the question. But it made me worry about something that's been going on in the news in recent uh, months. There's been a lot of people who get uh, into rage fight situations on planes and oftentimes when I board a plane I have to tell people next to me you know to be neat with their food because I have allergies and or sometimes I have to change seats right if the person next to me cannot exactly understand what I'm saying if it's a child sometimes I just have to change seats right and it gets me a little bit anxious of having to deal with that when people are already on edge and so I decided to google if the idea of having a food free section on a plane has ever come up right because I can't be the only one who deals with this maybe not on an international flight but you can imagine on a flight from Seattle to, to New York or even an even shorter one maybe Seattle to Phoenix you would imagine it's not terribly outrageous for there to be an idea of a food free section right and I noticed that um, it happens in ball games, right? Not necessarily on planes, which, which I find a little bit interesting because most people have a choice whether or not they want to go to a ball game more so than whether or not they want to travel, right? But it's happened at ball games. But you know what? The crux of the issue is that people need to be neat with their food, right? Whether they have an allergy or not, or whether they're next to somebody with an allergy or not, right? As this past year and a half has shown us, there are other things that spread in the air if you are messy, right? If you don't cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, or if you decide to go out when you're sick. And so it just goes to show that because a small section of the population is a little bit unruly with how they eat, entire ball games, the entire sections of ball games have to sacrifice eating, right? It just goes to show if we're not considerate with how we reopen, the reopening might be taken away from us as well, right? And I don't think anybody wants that to happen.